Hi, Rob here from Freedom House's Internet Freedom Team. In my last tutorial, I talked to you about Tor's browser bundle. And one of the services that I skipped over during the tutorial was Pigeon. Pigeon is an instant messaging client that allows you to add in your buddy lists from different instant messaging services, like AOL's instant messaging service, Yahoo's instant messenger, and Google's instant messenger. Now, that's great in and of itself, giving you the opportunity to add in all your buddies from the different services. But the problem with instant messaging is it's just as easy to tap into a conversation between two people instant messaging as it is to tap into a conversation between two people using a phone line. So what I want to talk to you about today is Pigeon and Off the Record. Now, Off the Record is a plugin for Pigeon that encrypts conversations between two or more people. So let's get started and learn how to make our instant messaging safer and more private. So just like with the Tor service, you can choose to download and install both Pigeon and Off the Record directly onto your computer. But because my tutorial last time was on protection and privacy on the go using a USB flash drive, we're going to do the same thing here. We're also going to use the Tor browser bundle here because it incorporates the Pigeon client. So what I'm going to do first is put my USB flash drive into my computer. And we should get the menu to pop up here. Open folder to view files and double click Tor Browser Folder. Now if you don't have the Tor Browser Bundle you're going to want to go to www.torproject.org click the download tabs and download the Tor Browser Bundle. So the easiest way to get this going is to double click Start Tor Browser. This will get us connected to the Tor network, open up the self-contained browser and also open up Pigeon with Off the Record. Okay, so you get the Welcome to Pigeon screen first. The first thing I'm going to do is minimize all these other boxes that are open here. And I'm going to add an account. And you choose your service from the drop-down menu. You can see they support quite a few different uh, instant messaging services. And you're going to put in your username and password. Click Remember Password here and Add. Now while this is connecting, I'll tell you that you can add any number of different uh, usernames that you have from any different service. And every one of them will show up here um, so that you can have all of your friends, all of your buddies, all in one place and talk to them across all the different services. Okay, so once it says Available down here, that means that we are connected to our service. I'm going to close this out because we don't need it open anymore. And you can see I have one friend on my buddies list here. Web Freedom Friend. One thing you'll want to keep in mind when using Pigeon with Off the Record is that you both need to have Pigeon with Off the Record in order for the encryption and security to work. Now that we're connected and we can see our buddy list and our friends, what we want to do is make sure that Off the Record is running. So I'm going to click Tools and go to Plugins and scroll down until you see Off the Record Messaging. Now if you're doing this manually, installing Pigeon and Off the Record directly to your computer, you're going to have to go in and check this box. It's already checked here because I'm using Tor's browser bundle and it does it automatically for me because it's all about the privacy and protection. So in either case, we're going to click off the record messaging or select it and then go to configure plugin. Now right here you can see I already have a digital fingerprint. I've generated one earlier. But what you want to do if this is a, uh, the first time you've started the program is to click the generate button and that will give you a digital fingerprint which is a series of letters and numbers that you can use to identify yourself to anybody that you're talking to so that they know it's you. Now they'll have one as well that they can give to you so you know it's them. So once you've generated your fingerprint you're going to close this window and then you can close the plugin window 
and open up an IM window with your friend. Now as you can see, Off the Record has added a couple of features to the IM window. There's an indicator down here to tell you whether or not your conversation is private, and there's a menu up here for starting a private conversation, ending it, and authenticating the person that you're talking with. Now in order to get this started, you want to click Start Private Conversation. And a window like this should pop up on your friend's screen. Okay, as you can see here, this is an unverified private conversation because we haven't authenticated our buddy yet. And so what we want to do is go up to the win this uh, menu again and go to Authenticate Buddy. Now, there are a couple of different ways to authenticate. You can ask a question of your buddy that only they would know the answer to, and that's one way of authenticating. And then they'll ask you a question back so that you both know that it's the person you want to be talking to. You can also decide to enter a shared secret. But what we're going to do is use manual fingerprint verification. Now, with manual fingerprint verification, you can see your um, fingerprint here and the fingerprint that they should be able to tell you. Now, you're going to want to do this through word of mouth probably. Get on the phone with your friend and say, okay, what's your fingerprint? And if they tell you that this is their fingerprint and it's right down to every number and letter, you can go and click, I have verified this is in fact the correct fingerprint for Web Freedom Friend, and then click Authenticate. Now, this has changed from unverified to private, which means that my conversation with my friend web freedom friend is completely private this conversation is private and nobody will be able to intercept what I'm saying it's all scrambled all they're gonna see is letters numbers all kinds of jumbled it's encrypted and there you go that's all there is to getting off the record working and keeping your instant messaging and your instant messages safe and secure from prying eyes